everybody, it's Becky. I'm back today with a follow-up video to a video I did a while back called How to Waste Your Motherhood. At the end of that video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it below, but at the end of that video I talked about some videos that were likely to be kind of spin-offs of that original one. This is one of those videos and it's probably going to be a pretty touchy subject because it's all about cell phone parenting. And just to give you a little backstory, kind of my observations and things that I've noticed, um, I know that pretty much every time we go out anywhere, whether that's the doctor's office or at a restaurant or anywhere, most parents, if not every parent, is on their phone and not paying attention to their to their kids. And I'm not saying you have to like stare at them 24/7, but the, you know, there's a difference between checking something really quick and staring at your phone or texting or playing a game the entire time. I can't tell you how many times we've been out to eat and seen families that nobody talks to anybody at the table the entire time because everybody's on their phone or the parents are on their own phone and the kids are sitting there bored looking around like I'm so bored and there's nobody to talk to and my parents are ignoring me and I'm sure that you've probably noticed those things too and it really bothers me because I feel like overuse of cell phones is really an addiction and it's really an epidemic and of course having a cell phone is a great thing it's great to be able to have contact people when you need to and when they need to contact you and you don't have to leave and worry if you're missing a phone call at your house or something it's great to be able to find directions and look up phone numbers and if you have an emergency and all these things they're really great they're really great for coupons i love a lot of my couponing apps that i save a lot of money with when i'm out shopping but like anything that's taken to the extreme it can be a bad thing as well and i'm not saying that cell phones are the devil but i'm pretty sure the devil's pretty happy with with how it's turning out he doesn't have to do that much work all he does is sit back and watch all the families basically tear themselves down by not having any communication with each other, ignoring each other, and not building relationships. So it makes it easier for, it makes it easier for him. I mean, I know that sounds crazy and extreme, but it, it's true. I think they really, cell phones really do lead to the depletion of quality family time. So I have a couple of things that I want to read to you, some things I found online, some things I want to share with you. Not to say that you're the, not to say that you're a cell phone parent, but if you find yourself relying more and more on having to look at your phone every spare minute of the day, maybe you found yourself kind of doing some of the things I mentioned where you go out to eat and you don't talk to anybody or you'd rather take a, answer an email than talk to the people that you're having dinner with and things like that. So some of these things are just things for you to think about. I will link an article in the description box below um, for where some of this information came from. Face-to-face -face interactions are the primary way that children learn. They learn language, they learn about their own emotions, and they learn how to regulate them. They learn by watching us how to have a conversation, how to read other people's facial expressions. And if that's not happening, children are missing out on those important development milestones. So basically that's saying if you're staring at your phone the whole time instead of giving them your full attention when you're talking to them, they don't learn how to communicate from you. They don't learn how to make eye contact, how to have a conversation. Kids with parents who are more absorbed in their devices are more likely to act out in an effort to get their parents' attention. And I have seen that at restaurants and at the doctor's office. When I went to the doctor a couple weeks ago, every mother in the waiting room was on her cell phone while, her, while the kids were just kind of running around doing whatever, smearing all over the chairs, crawling on the floor being overly loud and things like that and the parents were all just texting or whatever they were doing and not paying attention to what was going on. We are behaving in ways that certainly tell children they don't matter, they're not interesting to us, and they're not as compelling as anybody, anything, or any ping that may interrupt our time with them. And that's really sad. I mean, I think, and that that's how you feel. Have you ever gone out to eat with somebody who is constantly checking their email or answering texts? And if it's not an emergency type situation, I don't mean somebody that maybe is supposed to be at work and they just stepped out to eat a bite real quick or something. I mean the people that are always holding their phones, always looking things up, and basically making it feel like that you're so boring that they have to look around on their phone to keep themselves awake and entertained. If you've been out with those people then you know how it feels and that's certainly the last thing that we want to do to our kids. So I have a couple tips for how to control the urge to always be on your cell phone. So the first thing is an easy one. When you eat out as with your kids or with your family, leave your, leave your phone in your purse or your pocket in the car or or turn it off when you're eating. Also turn off any email or game notifications unless again you're in an emergency type situation where somebody really needs to be able to email you something. Turn those off at least for dinner time or, or bedtimes or special times like that when you, when you need to devote that undivided attention to your family. A long time ago I actually turned off my email notifications because it was constantly notifying me and you do feel like you need to check it as soon as you find out you have an email you're like oh I'm gonna check and see what it might be something important. 
and 99% of the time it wasn't, but I still felt the need to check. So, I mean, it's been probably two years ago that I turned off my email notifications. Just to help reduce your emails overall, I would really make it a goal to unsubscribe from as many email lists as you find that you're not really using, wanting, or needing. I used to sign up for like everything to get coupons and really probably never made a purchase at a lot of those places. So. As those emails come in, I've just been making a conscious effort to unsubscribe from the ones that I really don't want or use, and that way I have less emails coming in. Also, when you're at home, maybe keep your cell phone in a different room. Now, I know this might be a little different for people that don't have a landline. We have a landline and our cell phone. So when I'm at home, I know that if somebody really needs to reach me, they can call me on my house phone. Um, but still, you know, maybe keep your cell phone off away a little bit from you when special times when the kids are up or you're eating or you're playing a game or you're having movie night, keeping it away from you out of sight, out of mind. So maybe you will not be tempted to get it, just pick it up and check it. And just like you might set time limits for your kids for technology, set those same time limits for yourself. Maybe from the time the kids get home until after supper time, don't check your email or you don't touch your phone until after they go to bed or something like that. Just give yourself limitations of when it's appropriate for you to be on your phone because we all know what happens even if you're just checking one thing you can very easily get sucked into something else next thing you know you've been on your phone for 30 minutes or an hour so those are just some tips and things that I wanted to share with you guys to maybe help you and encourage you to put your cell phones away to spend more time paying attention to your kids you know I'm not saying you have to sit there and just be you know playing all day long but your kids need to know that they matter the people that are with you need to know that they matter not just kids anybody that's in your life that you're spending time with, they need to know that they matter and they're not gonna feel that way if you're constantly checking their your phone while they're talking or you're scrolling through Pinterest when you're supposed to be eating dinner with them. If you're at the doctor waiting with your kids and they're running around creating chaos in the waiting room and you're just texting somebody and not paying attention, it's really sad and I think the more we ignore our children and the people in our lives that matter to us, it's just a really a really sad thing. Those relationships that we have in our life are things that we should be putting more and more attention into and instead of, rather than less and less attention. So just something to be thoughtful of, some tips to maybe help you do that if you have found yourself maybe overusing your phone. Um, I will also link a video in the description box and you might have seen it a couple years ago. It was a big deal when it came out and you might have already seen it but it might not hurt to see it again called Look Up and basically it's talking about the same thing I'm mentioning, the epidemic of people constantly looking down on their phones and ignoring the world and the people around them. I will warn you though, I do think there is a curse word in it. I don't. I feel bad kind of encouraging you to watch a video with a curse word, but it really had a huge impact on me and I know it had a huge impact on a lot of other people. So, you know, watch it if you want to, make sure your kids aren't in the room, um, but it really might help to kind of bring into perspective really what I'm talking about. One thing I read in a book recently said that sunsets and goodbyes happen every day, but they should always be treated as if they were your last. The world is going on around you, and if you're constantly looking at your phone, you're gonna miss it. Like I said, this does relate back to that first video of how to waste your motherhood, so I will have that link below if you wanna watch it, if you haven't seen it, or if you wanna watch it again. Um, and then there will be likely more videos kind of along the same topic of not wasting your motherhood, not wasting your life. So I hope this was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.